morning, Mount Olive. Hope you're having a great morning. Uh, hope you have enjoyed uh, a lot of the posts and been able to take part in um, our youth revival. Uh, it's wonderful to see, and I know it has been such a blessing to uh, us and to the community. Continue to pray for them as that continues, and pray that the Lord move and have his will in all of that. Um, let's go before the Lord in prayer this morning. Father, we want to thank you for all you do for us. Lord, we want to come with the heart of thanksgiving this morning and, and what you've set before us. Lord, we ask, Lord, you continue to touch the moving that you have set in place, Father, among our youth, our, our revival, Lord, in our little church here by the road. Lord, we ask, Lord, to continue to touch that situation, continue to work in our youth and our community. Or that your, your name will be lifted up, Father. Not that they see us, but they see you in us. Father, be with those that are sick and need a healing touch from you, Father. Or that you please intervene in those circumstances. Or change the circumstances that are there. And Lord, we'll give you the power and the glory for all of it, Father. Thank you for all you do for us. Lead God and direct everything we do today. In Jesus' name I pray. Following upon Brother TJ's message from Sunday, and uh, it has been a great series. I thank Brother Michael and and uh, Brother Jody yesterday um, doing the devotion. Um, but the point that kind of stuck out for me uh, and some of the uh, youth uh, it's been used here in their, their revival is to go after it. Uh, and it comes from, from Joshua. Uh, when Joshua is actually talking about um, uh, what the Lord is telling him to do. And they're getting ready to cross over to the land of Jordan. And in doing so, the Lord gives them specific instructions about what to do with the Ark of the Covenant, how far to go behind it, and what you should do. And actually, that scripture is in Joshua chapter 3. It says in verse 2, it says, And it came to pass after three days that the officers went through the host, and they commanded the people, saying, When you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God and the priests, the Levites, bearing it, then ye shall remove from your place and go after it. Yet there shall be a space between you and it, about 2,000 cubits by measure. Come, come not near unto it, that you may know the way by which you must go. For you have not passed this way heretofore. So we, we look at this and, and they're getting ready to go over the Jordan and conquer a, another land, take possession of the land that the Lord has given them. And uh, you would think they would be excited. They would be right up next to it. Let's go over. Let's take the land. But the Lord is saying, you need to stay back. You need to be able to watch the ark. You need to be able to uh, follow me. And as the, um, the scripture says, go after it or go after the ark. Go after me because uh, I am leading you. And you've not went this way before. Now, some of you remember this. Some of the younger ones may not. But whenever you're used to take a trip, and, and I humbly say that we've had to use these in the past. And uh, we used to go on vacation, and it wasn't as much that you would um, say, well, I don't know how to get there. How do you do? ask someone? Well, you actually had a map, and you had to bring out the map. And when you did that, you had to follow along and find out, I have to take route so-and-so south. Then I have to take exit blank to get off on another road, and then we go to exit so-and-so. Now, if you've missed the if someone wants to sleep and your navigator didn't tell you what uh, uh, exit to take, you had to turn back around, hopefully that you didn't go too far, but you really had to plan out your trip. It wasn't as easy as putting GPS up and following the instructions. There was a lot of preparation between here and Florida or here and somewhere else. So if you haven't went there, you don't know how to go. Uh, after so many years, it becomes secondhand nature to know what routes or what roads you normally travel. But if you've not went, you don't know which way to go. There has to be a map, someone to tell you. Well, in John 14, 6, Jesus says 
the he is our roadmap to life. He says, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, unto the Father, but by me. Just like the Israelites followed that ark across the Jordan and into the promised land, Jesus is standing there each day for us, saying, You've not went through today before, but I have. I've went before you. So all you have to do is follow me. Follow me today, this week, this month, this year, your life, and we'll get you to the destination. Get up, go after it, follow Jesus each and every day. So I ask you, are you lost? Do you not know the way? Well, I know someone who's been there, and it's Jesus Christ. If you uh, don't know him, accept him into your heart today. Hope you've gotten something out of devotion. Hope to see you in church real soon.